Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you for coming in on such short notice. Ah, my pleasure as always. What can I do for you today? Well, we need some help with the five whys. Ah, yes, the five whys. What about the five whys? You see, we are trying to implement the five whys and train each employee to become a problem solver, and it doesn't seem to be working well. Ah, well let's begin with an understanding of the five whys. The five whys involves repeatedly asking why until we get to the root cause of a problem. Its purpose is for people to change their paradigm. Instead of addressing symptoms to problems, we want them to dig deeper, to peel the onion, if you will. Yes. Yes. I know all of that. Excellent. So, what is the problem you are experiencing? Well, we managers are going out to the shop floor asking the five whys all of the time, but our employees are becoming frustrated and angry. That does not surprise me Bob. The intent of the five whys is not simply to begin asking employees why over and over again. It isn't. No. This is a fundamental misunderstanding. Remember, the goal of the five whys is get to the root cause of a problem. More specifically, as managers, we want all of our employees to begin thinking about problems differently. So, we might begin by training our employees in problem definition. Problem definition? Yes. First, we must get our employees to understand how to define problems correctly. Without introducing causes or solutions in their problem statements. I like to think of problems in terms of a target condition versus a current condition. The problem can be defined as a gap between the two. Ah, I see. So, when a problem occurs, we want our employees to be able to understand and define the true problem in terms of the actual condition versus the target condition. Yes. For example, if a manager sees that a work cell is not able to consistently meet production, he or she might define the problem as follows. This widget work cell has consistently fallen short of planned production of 60 units per hour and is currently averaging 54 units per hour. Yes. I see. Instead of having a poor problem statement such as this work cell is understaffed, or this work cell needs a new piece of equipment. Exactly. Those statements introduce causes or solutions. Now, once the employees understand defining problems, then we ask them to begin applying the five whys. We might also teach them basic tools such as a fishbone or cause and effect diagram to begin brainstorming potential causes. We would also emphasize the importance of observation. Ah, I get it. Well, we will begin working on this ASAP. Later today, I will gather our management team to discuss the next steps. I'll also let our employees know that we've been going about this all wrong, and that they needn't worry that we will be badgering them and asking why all of the time. Excellent. I'm glad I could help. Where did you learn about the correct way to apply the five whys? From my friends at EMS Consulting Group. www.emsstrategies.com They offer training, consulting, and other online resources. Yes. I will check them out right now. www.emsstrategies.com Please do. And don't forget. There is much more to problem solving than the five whys. Just ask my friends at www.emsstrategies.com.